Hello, this is Simeon from the Swedish Homestead channel. Today I want to talk about the deep bedding that we're going to use for the cows. And it is very different to the deep bedding than we use with the chickens. Some principles are the same, but I want to explain it to you guys and show you. In the previous video, I've shown you guys how the deep bedding system works with the chickens. It's the same principle where you want to have the carbon that captures the manure and through a chemical process, um, basically um, the, all the nutrition and everything are being preserved that they won't leak out into the air or water or something. And over time, you turn the deep bedding into a compost. With the cows and the deep bedding there, it is the same principle that you use carbon to capture um, the, the nitrogen and all of that and the nutrition but the system is going to work a little different the chickens they scratch through the deep bedding constantly and add oxygen to it and it's the slow process of it all burning over these several months of winter that the chickens are in the greenhouse with the cows it's going to be different the cows um, are going to walk on a deep bedding as well and initially we will start out with um, 30 centimeters about a foot deep of deep bedding because um, we have to have a base where the first urine and, and, and all the manure will be um, captured right away and then we will add to this deep bedding on a constant basis now uh, I want to I will show it to you and explain it to you how it works but let me first say in comparison to the chicken deep bedding this is not going to be aerated at this constant basis like the chicken do with their deep bedding this is going to get packed it's going to be an anaerobic environment an oxygen free environment because the cows with their heavy hooves and their heavy body weight will just pack down this deep bedding so strongly that the air and the oxygen will be pressed out of it and it will ferment in a sense and then in the spring when the cows go out on pasture we are gonna turn that deep bedding but we don't want to use a tiller or a tractor or anything like that we want to put animals to work so we want to put our pigs into that deep bedding that they can turn this deep bedding now this system is copied from polyface farms in uh, Virginia and in his book um, salad bar beef Joel Salatin the one of the most influential farmers of our time he explains this model very well now we've tried to do this previously we've had um, pigs turn a couple deep beddings for us but it didn't work so well because we didn't do uh, we didn't know the the good system that Shaw Salatin uses and this year we want to implement that one to one so it's not my idea you can just highly recommend his books and, and the videos that are out on YouTube that other people have filmed visiting his farm but let me go show you and walk you through the process what we're gonna do so here I am in our greenhouse by the chickens where I've stored these two bags of corn and this corn is going to be mixed in in the bedding material for the, for the deep bedding for the cows. Now the, this is important because we do not want to till this deep bedding in, um, ourselves in the spring after the, after the winter season. We want the pigs to do this. And pigs are herbivores like chickens as well and they love fermented food. And the whole deep bedding is going to ferment like I said earlier throughout the season. The corn is going to ferment, the bedding hay or straw that's going to be in there and the chickens and the and the pigs love it. They love it much more than than um, dry grain. And so we are going to go strictly after Polyface Farms recommendations in this because they've spent a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of knowledge into this whole system and there's no need for me to figure this out. So I'm going to go strictly after their um, experience and recommendation, which is for every cubic yard or cubic meter, which is about the same of bedding material, you want to add 15 kilos of feed or 30 pounds. And if you mix that up, 
then the pigs will have enough later to really dig through this whole thing and find the feed in there. Um, some of it will get lost, you have to live with that, but then the pigs will do the work for you, they love doing it, you don't have to use machines and while the pigs do that for you, you can go do something else. Um, deep beddings have always been a pain um, when they are just packed and, and you need to try to get rid of them. This way it will turn into nice and fluffy compost which we will be able to use on our fields or on our gardens. So that will be amazing. I will carry this over now. I have already fenced in the cow shelter. I have chipped in a few cubic meters of um, dry wood chips and I will need to mix this corn in there now. It's quite stormy, so I don't know if I can do much talking. I might have to turn the volume down later and add a song because I still don't have my external mic and the wind noise will, might just be too great. Just something I want to share with you guys real quick. I'm inside the greenhouse here and it's 10 degrees Celsius in here. This is sunlight. It's the first sun we've had in a long time, in several weeks. Outside, outside it is negative six degrees Celsius and in here it's plus 10 so that's amazing one layer of plastic February we get more daylight al already and and the heat works just great Okay, I had to go inside, it was too cold, my phone um, kept dying, but uh, let me just finish the information for you guys real quick. So what I just did is, <clears throat> I had about two and a half, three cubic meters of bedding there, and that's why I added two 18 kilo bags of corn, and I mixed that. Now I'm not worried that the cows will go eat that, first of all they will add the manure and, and all of that to it, and animals stay away from their own manure. And we've tried this with sheep before, when we still had sheep, <clears throat> and they have these tiny um, noses and mouths, so they would eat the corn out of the deep bedding, but the cows are different. They can't as easily lick that stuff or eat the stuff out of the deep bedding because it's so spread out. So I'm not worried about that, even if it, they get a little bit of corn. Most of it will just really be packed down there. So what we did is we added that to it, and in order for this to work, you now have to really calculate so that you will have the right carbon-nitrogen ratio when you want to compost the bedding in the spring. You need to calculate that ratio. Now, I believe cow manure is like 20 to 1 in, in uh, carbon-nitrogen and for a compost pile you want to have 25 or 30 to 1. So you need to see the wood chips I put in there, they're about 300 to 1. So it's not about volume here, but it is about weight. And um, a pound of wood chips will go very far for a pound of uh, cow manure. And I, I will now have to calculate this so that I will not add too much bedding and not too little bedding throughout the season. So that's how you do it. You can search this online, carbon nitrogen ratio, different materials. You'll find that chicken manure, for example, is seven to one, it's very, hot, it's really high in nitrogen, and you can just cal calculate this all. So that's how we do it, and that's how we are going to attempt to do the steep bedding. I will keep you updated. It is cold and it is windy, so I'm going to try to make it quick here, but they are all in here. Right now I've chosen to fence them in completely, and this is 10 square meters more than the minimum requirement in Sweden. So. Um, Space-wise, it is totally fine. I will have to see how this breed does like this, because this breed is more used to walking freely outside. But this is um, it's just a test and we'll see about it. But it went very well. Sally here, the big one in the middle, she is very suspicious towards me since I locked him in here. But like this, I can capture all the urine and I can capture all the manure and everything and we'll be able to produce good compost this uh, this upcoming upcoming spring so I'm really happy with this and as you guys see many comment on that the cows will tear this down it was never the plan um, for the for the um, fence to reach the to reach these posts 
that's it for the debating. I hope you enjoyed this informative video. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.